and see what the turn is going to bring. I don't know why Sam's standing up though. Ten moment, times. I thought that was another nine. So now it has to be a nine or a six to knock out last week's big winner, Robert Cooper. Hmm. Five cards in the deck and it isn't one of them. Jack Arts. Once again, the aces stand up. Cooper really looks like the man about town, doesn't he? Yes, I was just going to say, if uh, Kilias looks a little bit like Eeyore, then old Robert Cooper, he is Tigger. He's smart, he's snappy, he's always cool. happy. Cool. Now, this should cheer Achilles up. Cool. The king and the queen. It's 1,000 to call. Cool. Cooper Anyways. has called with a 7-8. And Sam Eliasin has a king two Check. suited. Suited makes all the difference. Yeah, he's going to get a free ride on this one from the big blind. Jack of clubs, ten, ten of hearts. Cooper's hit a straight. Kalakis has also <laughs> hit a straight. Kalakis has hit the straight as well. <laughs> this could be. <laughs> <laughs> this is fireworks. Huge pot. Cooper has got what's known as the idiot <laughs> end of the straight. He's got the seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. Kalakis has got the 9-10 Jack Queen King. And Eliasin needs a queen for a straight. <laughs> oh dear. I think we've been waiting for this hand for the last half an hour. They've been tentatively feeling each other out with jabs. I check. Check. Somebody. Surely they're not going to check bet. this one out. <coughs> check. Cooper's waiting for a bet, thinking he's got the best of it. Doesn't really ma matter what Kalakis does here. You get a feeling that Cooper's oh. going to call. Going all in. I think Cooper will put this down. Well, he certainly folded earlier on when he had a very powerful hand after the flop. But a straight, that is hard to throw away. And he must be thinking, would Kalakis risk all his, ch all his, sorry, nearly said chips, Seven all his pound notes on a bluff? I don't think he would. And Cooper's now thinking that. He's scratching his head thinking, would he bluff this? With a chance to go out the tournament. Well, they do know each other well. And from behind those reflective sunglasses, he's giving him a good old peer. Cooper's going to put this down. Well, he's fingering his money. Seven. Seven. Seven what? Seven thousand seven hundred. Looking like a call now. It certainly is. He doesn't like it though. He's smelling a bit of a rat. Cool. He's called well, it. His nose has let oh. him down, I'm afraid. I don't know how he's going to get out of this one. There is twenty-one and a half thousand pounds in the pot. There is no escape. There is no way Cooper can win this pot. Well, we're nice going to see the funeral rites of the turn and the river, even though this one is done and well, dusted. Well, and that is done. a huge result. King of diamonds. I beg your pardon, he can split it with a queen. And a queen. This would be unbelievable. Oh, if a queen comes here, it's going to be a queen. I will forgive Kalakis for looking miserable if a queen comes. Five nope, of diamonds. Just the five of diamonds. And suddenly, Cooper is in deep doo-doo. We started with half a dozen players, and now we have only three. But one of them is living on borrowed time. Join us after the break in the PartyPoker.com Poker Den. back in East London and it's a case of from worst to first for Greek shipping tycoon Achilles Kalakis. His straight to the king has sent him straight to the top 
of our leaderboard and put last week's winner Robert Cooper in a whole heap of trouble. Anthony, can Robert Cooper find the escape hatch? He can. Kalakis, two or three hands ago, was, was tailed off in this event. And all of a sudden, he's now chip leader. This this can all change so quickly. You know, two or three double throughs, and, and it's a totally different game. Anthony Hardy, the eternal optimist. I must admit, I can hear the bells tolling. But mind you, Pass. Eli Asin's going to do nothing with that. Galakis thinks he Call. can invest in the queen for a club. Call in. Cooper, all in. More. Every time Cooper's gone all in this evening, total. he's doubled through. Yeah, he's attracted huh? a call. And a call. We're going to roll these cards over, and once again, Cooper is going to be in front. Okay. Come on. The big slip. Cooper's a big favourite here. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was a good call in, Blind. I wouldn't say he's enjoying it. Practically doing a dance behind Achilles there. Just He'd like to see an ace on the flop. He would. The queen, the, is queen. Gonna, the queen is going to bring him down to size. A four oh, is going to bring him down shoot. to size. He's still got two cards to come. Yeah. Six outs. We discount the runner on a straight draw to with that ace. There's the mm -hmm. ten. Only an ace or a oh. king is going to keep Robert Cooper yeah. at this table. Fourth, thank you. An ace or a king? Here it comes. The river card. It's a jack. Good luck. And that is that for last week's £50,000 winner, the cool Englishman, Robert Cooper. Well, he's leaving with nothing tonight. But he played very well, Anthony. Very tenacious. He did play very well this evening. Okay. You had a small blind last time. Very unlucky. Sorry? Low stacked, decided to take a chance. Ace King. Yeah, he couldn't have asked for more there, could he? No, he's been unlucky. Okay, well now we are heads up. Achilles Kalakis. He's got about 30 grand. Sam Eliasin from New York City has got around about okay, 20 grand. A small blind last time. Um, Who was a small blind? They, they said okay. Marty Definitely Wilson is just time. sorting it's out the where the button and the blinds are going to be. Yeah. We look at Try that it. analysis. What do you make of that, Anthony? Three. What I make of that is obviously Kalakis is the big chip leader. The bet frequency, though, Eliasin has been much more inclined to get involved. Kalakis has been cautious. Heads up, surely it's all about aggression. Surely Eliasin can come back and win this. It is. That is what it is about. And I'm not sure if Kalakis will be aggressive enough to win this. I think Eliasin will be the aggressor. And the cards are already in play. The button is on Sam Eliasin. He's in the small blind. He's got an 8-5 and it's down to him to make the decision. He certainly made the right one a minute ago, Anthony. He certainly did. I do feel Kalakis is waiting for hands that just don't happen at heads up. You know, he's waiting for you know the, the, the perfect hand. It just doesn't happen. You must be an aggressor at heads up. And I feel that Ali Eliasin is the aggressor and will come out on top of this tournament. Well, time will tell. Jack six in front of the Greek. No raise. And of course, he checks that one. That is not pretty enough for Achilles to get excited. Well, it just got a little bit prettier for both of them. They've both got a straight draw. Kalakis's is an up and down straight. Jack. He needs an eight or a king. Eliasin, the jack. Jack, both jack. 